I got this commission to paint uh, the 100 year history of the, uh, the port of the modern port of Trelleborg. And when I first received the commission, I was not sure how I would represent this history. But uh, then I had come in contact with uh, the Mexican muralists through books. Uh, through uh, Cristina Fernandez, who was a friend of mine in Sweden, she showed me in her library these wonderful reproductions of Orozco especially. And I remembered when I opened uh, her book of murals for the first time, there was the picture of the conqueror that Orozco painted. This uh, old man in black armor with a sword. And even though he represented something horrible, at the same time, there is this wonderful gaze, uh, this feeling of compassion and devotion, uh, the determination to do something great. So I think that when Orozco painted him, it was not only a negative picture of the conqueror, it was painted also with love for the conqueror. And when I saw this, this knight in armor, I said to myself, this is what I will have in mind when I paint my murals in Trelleborg. And so that's why I have my figures, they're posing almost like knights, like soldiers, holding torches, holding flags. The, 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 the buildings of Trelleborg are, are painted from a frog perspective. You look up at them, everything is monumentalized, just as cicadas would do it. In the, in the big mural of the uh, Electrical Workers' Union, he was using uh, a frog perspective to monumentalize the buildings. And when I saw Siqueiros, Orozco's uh, 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 knight in armor, or the conqueror as it is called, and when I saw the history of Mexico as it is presented in the presidential palace, I knew exactly what I wanted to do and how I wanted to convey the history of Trelleborg. It is kind of uh, funny that Trelleborg is a very small city of 30,000 people. You cannot compare it to an enormous city like Mexico City. Uh, we've had 400 years of peace. No civil war, no revolutions, no, no aggressive social movements, except for the social democratic movement. But it was not in, 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 in any way bloody as the civil war in Mexico. However, uh, I, I was convinced, or I, I had deter determined myself to, to try to portray the history of, of the harbor of Trelleborg strong and vibrant as my great, uh, 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 or as the great Mexican painters. Well, I think that um, I wanted to make paintings that were both first depicting history, but that were also political. And when you get a commission like this, uh, it can be difficult to be too blunt politically, but I wanted to make paintings that inspired people. Uh, that gave them strength and inspiration. The workers united with the entrepreneurs, the owners, the capitalists, the royalties, with the working class movement, to make a kind of a, uh, uh, a ground for a collective society, where everybody is equally important, even though they have different roles, both in terms of, of profession and of, of, of class. Uh, so you can say that it's a kind of a, uh, they do convey a kind of a socialist message. But at the same time, uh, I would like for the beholder to interpret that. Uh, uh, when I say socialism, I talk mainly about the pride and the strength of the human being who together with his fellows will create something great. And so I saw the harbor as a metaphor for a collect collective power. Well, first of all, of course, it is a, a depiction of the, of, the, of the history of the harbor. And since I was born in Trelleborg, and my family has been uh, working uh, as sea captains, sea pilots, uh, what have you, uh, going back to the 18th century. My father was a sea pilot, my grandfather was a sea pilot, all working in the harbor of Trelleborg. And so, uh, of course, the sea 
uh, uh, the beach, the harbour, this town, it means a lot to me, much more so than I would have ever believed before I started this painting. Uh, I can see how, how my, my background, my childhood, my teenage years really has coloured me as a painter. And so these, uh, these blue colours, which is very predominant in the painting, are of course a, a, a reflection of what I have grown up with. Trelleborg, the, the, which is it's this, it's numbers, the second harbour in Sweden for export and import. Uh, so even though the town is small, the harbour is very important. And it was very important during two world wars, both the, the First World War and the Second World War. Uh, this was a, a place for exchange of invalids, of prisoners of war. They all came to this town and many of them died there. Trelleborg was always, even though it was in the outskirts of the war, because Sweden was never invaded by Germany. Uh, Germany was before the Nazis lost the war, the epitome for the Swedes. Everybody looked up to Germany. It was the, the, the grand country of culture in Europe. Uh, uh, English was not the second language in Sweden, it was German. So you can imagine the conflict that happened inside of people after the war. Uh, the concentration camps were opened, people saw the horror of National Socialism. Everybody had looked up to the Germans and all of a sudden comes this shock uh, of what they were really representing. And, and the Allies won the war and so everything became uh, 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 English in Sweden. Uh, uh, no more did you study German in, war, uh, in schools, everybody was learning English. Uh, uh, there was a new way of looking at the future and of, of yourself. Uh, so having gone from a, a, a Germanized country to, a, to a, a, an English culture, it was a, it created a kind of conflict inside of people. But nobody would ever talk about this. My parents never talked about it. Uh, there was a strange feeling of, of a collective shame in Europe. Even though Sweden uh, directly had nothing to do with the war, it had in certain ways indirectly. But uh, growing up in Sweden, I, I, I always saw the images of the, of the Nazi officers, for example.